Okay, so hello everyone. If you guys are just jumping on, please make sure to mute yourselves. I tried to mute everyone before, but new people getting on, um, sometimes they're not muted. So um, welcome to our loyal customer bootcamp. We have never done this before, but I'm really excited about it. Um, I spent a lot of time preparing for this, so hopefully you guys will find it super helpful. Um, so it's gonna basically run like this. You are going to want to have access to the chat if you can. And so if you guys know where that is, go ahead and just type something in the chat and say hi, um, maybe where you're watching from. I'm gonna type in there now. Um, I'm gonna be copying and pasting a lot of stuff in this chat. So if you're on a computer, that's probably gonna be most helpful for you to copy and paste. If you're on a phone, I believe you can just see the chat but it's really, I don't know that you're able to copy and paste. So if you're on your phone and if you don't have access to a computer, just know that you're gonna have to read through some of the stuff that I'm posting. And if you're gonna have to send out a certain message or make a certain post, you're just gonna have to type it out yourself, okay? Um, so I'm really excited about that. During the, or when I post the recording, I'm gonna post all of the scripts and the posts and all that good stuff. I'm gonna post that in the comments underneath the recording. So. I hope you guys have your hundreds list or a list of all of your current customers, your potential customers, potential distributors, all of it, um, because that is gonna make this working Zoom so much better. Um, it is going to be a working Zoom, so I am gonna train you on some different ways to find loyal customers, how to retain loyal customers, how to maximize your volume, um, but we are gonna work. So some parts of this are gonna be quiet. I'm going to you know, give you guys a certain thing to do, and then we're all gonna sit here and do it, including do it, including myself. So um, let's see here. Okay, I'm ready to work. So um, some of this is gonna be for you guys that are brand, brand new. Um, other parts of this are gonna be directed towards people that have been in for quite a bit longer, um, or even just a couple of months. So um, we're gonna kind of, ease our way into the longer you've been in. We're gonna start with new distributors and then kind of work our way up. Um, so the few things that you need to know about loyal customers before we start the working part of this is that loyal customers are the meat of our business. This is where a huge chunk of your paychecks are gonna come from. It's gonna be where a lot of those fast start bonuses come from. It's gonna be where a lot of your residual monthly income is coming from. Um, loyal customers are what create beach money, meaning one day you can be laying on a beach continuing to make a paycheck because you have lifelong loyal customers. Okay, so for example, I've been in this business for almost six years now. I've signed customers that have ordered every single month for almost six years now, okay? So I'm getting paid on something I did six years ago still every single month. So you should be really excited about our loyal customer program and the fact that it gives customers loyal customer pricing for life because that means you get paychecks for life. Um, another thing you need to remember when signing up loyal customers is that because they get loyal customer pricing for life, that means when it works, announces a brand new product or comes out with a brand new package, those customers still get to order from you. So perfect example is when the company came out with hair, skin and nails, when the company came out with the cleanse, when the company came out with the ItWork system, I had customers that hadn't ordered in two, three years that jumped back onto an auto ship. Okay, I've had customers not order from, for a year or two and then have a baby and then order stretch mark cream. So again, the fact that the company ties those people to you for forever is pretty incredible. Okay, and that in itself should make you guys wanna go out and hustle and sign loyal customers. Um, you know, so many people join this business, they get their first few customers, and then they just wanna sign distributors. And while that's a super important part of building your team, you also have to remember that a lot of you guys initially joined because you were excited about trying the products and you wanted to make extra money, okay? There are tons of people out there that you can help with these products that will eventually become distributors if you will just get them to use the products first. So I would say probably for our team, about 25% of new distributors started as loyal customers, okay? And that might even be a little bit low. So if you think that one out of every four customers you sign is eventually gonna become a distributor, don't we all wanna go sign like 12 customers right now? That would be three new distributors, okay? Some of them will sign up before their 90 days are over. Some of them will sign up six months after their 90 days are over. Some of them will take a couple years. Um, I don't know if Lindsay's on here, but 
She was a loyal customer of mine for three years before she joined. Um, but now, <laughs> okay, but now she's a double diamond. So um, when you're taking care of loyal customers, when you're signing loyal customers, when you're looking for people to join your team, don't forget that sometimes your loyal customers are going to be your very best distributors. So they are also just as important. I know we all want those fast start bonuses. I know we want to go diamond. I know we want all of those things, but you have to put the same emphasis on loyal customers as you do finding distributors, okay? Um, okay, that went longer than I thought it was going to go, but okay, I have a few little bullet points that I want you guys to remember, especially you newbies. Um, when explaining the loyal customer program and talking about the products, keep it very, very, very simple. In the chat here in a second, I'm gonna copy and paste all of the messages that I most frequently use when I'm talking to people about the products or they show interest or they're ready to order. Um, I use pretty much the same thing over and over. I just change it a little bit for that specific person. Um, I don't go into all of the added benefits of being a loyal customer, except for it, no membership fee, as long as they agree to try one product a month for three months, and they get wholesale pricing for life, okay? And I give them the retail and loyal customer price on whatever product they're interested in. So I'll do that here in a second. Um, the other thing you need to know about our loyal customer program is that every time you sign up two loyal customers, you get a wrap reward, okay? This is assuming that the loyal customers are directly underneath you. You get to redeem a box of wraps or facials for $25, okay? So for those of you that need money quickly, signing up two loyal customers is not only going to build your paycheck, it's also going to get you a box of wraps for $25 that you can turn around and sell for $100. Bucks. So that's $75 profit in your pocket whenever you do a party or you get out and you sell that treatment of wraps. Um, let's also be really careful when we're explaining the loyal customer program to people. Um, I've seen a lot of people recently really go after, you know, the 90 day challenge or 90 day product tester. That is a great way to get people intrigued with the loyal customer program, but we have to, our team specifically has to be really careful to address that it is one product a month for at least three months. Okay. They have to order a product every month for three months. Um, you have to think of it from the perspective of someone that knows nothing about our company or business. They don't know that when they order one product, it's not going to last 90 days. Okay. So just make sure before you sign up a customer, you are specifically saying, you're just agreeing to try at least one product a month for your first three months, okay? Um, not just you're going to use the products for 90 days, okay? Just to protect yourself so that you know that you've given them the exact rules for the customer program. Um, think of your customers as mini distributors, and we are going to talk about some different ways you can do this, but think about how many times you love a product or you buy a product from someone and how many times you refer them to someone else if you really like them or if you really like the products, okay? Your mini, your mini distributors can be some of the best ways to build your paycheck because they go out and tell three or four friends, maybe they're not interested in being a distributor, but they help you sign three or four more customers, okay? So treat them accordingly, give them the customer service that they deserve and it will end up growing your paycheck that way as well. Um, as far as weight loss products, um, and again, we're about to do a post here, but as far as the weight loss products or any other like nutritional products that we have, make sure you're asking questions. Okay, I think this is where people get kind of stuck. Um, if people are asking you for advice on a certain product or they wanna lose weight, just turn around and say, okay, tell me what your diet's like. What's your schedule like? Let's make sure we get the best fit for you. Okay, don't just try to sell a product because you wanna sell a product. We have to think of our customers like lifelong customers, okay? It's more important to get them on something that they will like that will benefit their lifestyle so that they will order it for forever than to get them on this huge product package that they don't even need. So when in doubt, just ask questions. And this goes the same for loyal customers as it does for distributors. A um, few more things. Don't say auto ship. When you're talking to people, people don't like auto ship things. They like monthly flexible orders, okay? Um, or you can even say, you know, auto orders is even better. Just auto ship, people don't like it. Okay, so little tip there. Um, the more personal, the better when you're posting and when you're messaging. I am about to, for the next 50 minutes or so, give you guys a ton of scripts and a ton of posts. Make sure you read them before you send them. If one says, hey, Tiffany, don't send it to a girl named Hey Ashley before you send the, the actual message, okay? If you're talking to someone about fat fighters, don't send them my message about 
ThermoFit before changing it, okay? Read through them, think about who you're talking to. These are just examples, okay? You change them to fit the person that you're talking to, your relationship with them, and of course their actual name or the product that you want to send them info on. Um, okay, so uh, another thing, this is gonna be obvious when you read the scripts, but if I say something like, the last time I did it, I lost four pounds. Well, if you haven't tried the cleanse, don't say that. <laughs> say that it's a product you're excited about using. Or if I say, you know, I think you'd be really good at this business I do, and maybe you just started and that feels weird, okay, I think you'd be really good at the business I just started, okay? Again, these are just scripts and ideas, no matter where you're at in your business or what product testimony you have, if any, because I know some of you guys probably haven't even tried the product yet change accordingly okay so I am going to copy and paste my normal messages you guys don't need to necessarily do anything with these um, I typically send them to my new distributors and I tell them to just save them through their phone so that way you've got them when you need them because we are all busy when we start this business and anything that will save time will help so why doesn't it want me to send this message? That's not fun. Okay. Okay. Who knows why it won't let me chat? Oh, too long. Thanks. Okay. Let me let me uh, fix that real fast. Okay. Okay. There we go. There's part of it. And then here's the last little part. I even blanked out where I put my website so you guys wouldn't send my website to anyone. Okay, although I would love the orders, let's not do that. I think you guys would be pretty upset. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys, and we're gonna take about three to four minutes to do this. I'm gonna send you a bunch of post ideas Either take one of these and change it or make something similar of your own. And I want you to post it on your Facebook or Instagram or both. And if I can find the chat again, okay. Of course, I didn't realize there was a character limit, so that's kind of annoying. Okay, so here's some options. And then, there's another one. Again, you can add emojis, you can change the wording, the products you're featuring. Okay, just keep it pretty, pretty simple. Um, and I want you guys to know that some of you might get 12 comments, some of you might get zero, okay? That's a part of the business. Um, it's just like when I had my store, you know, I could have 20 people walk into my store and three of them buy something or three of them pick something up, or none of them, or all of them, okay? Posting on social media for us is the same, okay? Sometimes you get everything, sometimes you get none. So try one of these, and I want that to just be up there during the Zoom so that you guys can possibly have some new potentials from this. And these are just good example posts for you guys. You can save all of them, so you know throughout the week if you're busy, it'll at least give you inspiration, even if you don't wanna just exactly copy and paste, because we know copying and pasting isn't as great as just typing up your own. Um, it's better than nothing, but it's not as good as typing up your own status. So do that for me. I'll give you guys a minute to do that, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And while I'm posting mine, I'm doing one about the cleanse. I am going to um, tell you guys, first of all, never respond to someone's comment with your answer <laughs> or with your website. Okay, if someone comments in or they drop an emoji or whatever you're asking them to do, don't say, don't give them all the information. Or if they say how much it is, just respond and say, I'm going to private message you or, you know, just message you or just inbox you. Don't give someone the answer in the comments because anyone else that was interested is now just gonna go look to see how much it is or what your website is, okay? Keep that to yourself so that you can find out who all is interested. That's a huge reason I tell people not to post their website. 
people will do their own research, they'll look into it, and you'll never even know that they were curious. So again, just comment back to them and say, you know, hey, I'm messaging you real quick. And then I'm gonna give you guys some messages that you can send if people do show interest. So I'm going to send you guys these sample messages. There's just two of them. And if you guys do get any awesome feedback, feel free to share in the chat or if you get someone that says they're interested or whatever, we'd love to hear about it. Um, so just message that chat. And then as far as the conversation goes past that point, um, message your sponsor. Um, since the Q&A is not till the end, you know, message your sponsor upline and ask them for help with the conversation past that point if you need to. especially if you guys aren't super familiar with the products, obviously, um, especially with the weight loss ones. I know we have more options. Obviously, if they wanna grow their hair out, we have one very specific product for that. Um, but other than that, if you guys don't have a testimony or you're not feeling really confident in what to recommend to someone, again, ask them questions, but then also ask your sponsor for help. All right, you guys nod your head once you've posted so I can see some of you have gotten it done. All right, see some nods, okay. I saw like three heads nod, so I'm just gonna assume all of you guys have that done. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, something I forgot to mention is if you guys, whether you're brand new or you've been in forever, a really good way to reach out to people is to voice message them. Okay, I know it feels super uncomfortable, but especially for those of you that are brand new, that are reaching out to people that you are best friends with, or you're their daughter, or your sister, you know, your sister, um, you guys can either do it through Facebook, or if they have an iPhone and you have an iPhone, you can send them a quick little message. Um, and sometimes that comes off so much more genuine than a copy and paste message. So if you feel comfortable doing that, um, it's a really good way to reach out to people to show them that you're excited. Okay. You don't have to know all of the answers, but sometimes I will, I'll be sitting in my office and be like, Hey, I'm just out, out running errands and, you know, sorry for the voice message, but I, you know, wanted to reach out to you cause I'm doing this new thing. I thought you'd want some info on it. Okay. So you can make it awkward if you need to, you're probably going to trip over your words. It's fine. Again, it's just real and it's you. Okay, um, so you guys feel free to use that tonight if you see a message or if there's someone you want to reach out to and normally you pick up the phone and call them or you know them well enough or you feel comfortable reaching out to them that way, then use the voice message feature. I think you're all muted, so if you do that, we're not going to hear you, so it's fine. Um, okay, so the next part is going to be for you newbies, okay? Probably someone in their next 30 days or maybe you've been in longer but you haven't reached out to a lot of people you are close with. I am about to blow up this chat with a bunch of different messages for you guys. Take it, tweak it, send it out. Okay, we're gonna probably spend seven or eight minutes doing this. For those of you that are not new, I'll get to you guys in a second. Okay, this is for the newbies. They're still coming. 
you guys have no reason to not message your best friend or your mom or your aunt because I'm giving you every script that I could find, pretty much. Okay, you guys get the picture, three, four sentences, simple. You're looking for some people to try the products with you. Um, you know, you get to give them a really awesome discount. You want their honest, honest feedback, okay? You're gonna send this to your, you know, four to six people or 10, 12 people, depending on how big your family and friend circle is, that you would call if you found out you were pregnant or engaged or you won the lottery, okay? That's the type of people you send these messages to. Okay. The people that would bring you chicken noodle soup if you were sick, that would do you a favor if you know you got a flat tire, that's the type of people you're sending these messages to, okay? And these are just about the customer program, obviously. Something I forgot to touch on, and I want to tell you guys this, especially new distributors, when you do start a conversation with someone about these products or they show interest, make sure that sometime between the very first message and before taking their order that you mention that they can try the products and make an extra income at the same time, okay? Even if you think they're not gonna be interested, even if they're about to sign as a loyal customer, if you haven't mentioned it yet, just throw it out there. Even if it's, I'm so excited for you to try this because I want you to join this business one day because we'd make a million bucks together. Um, you know, I'm excited for you. If you love it, would you ever consider that? Okay, just planting that tiny little seed can make all the difference with your loyal customers. I know that this is all about signing loyal customers, but that is also an important part of getting those loyal customers to eventually join as distributors because they're then using the products, you know, for the next three months at least thinking, what if she's right? You know, what if Sally's right? And I really do like these products. What if I get really good results? And then, you know, I, I can make some money. So they're more likely to track their results and they're more likely to um, you know, stay in touch with you, and they're more likely to keep watching your page if they're thinking, what if, you know, what if. I don't fully expect for people to turn around and say, you're right, let's, you know, I wanna try the product and make extra money, okay? It happens occasionally, but I'm really more so saying it because I want to plant that seed with them and get them thinking about it, okay? okay I'll stop talking for like, mm, half a minute. I lied. It was like 10 seconds, not even. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, if you've been in longer, this is your task right now, okay? Because if you've been in for like six months, you probably shouldn't be messaging people, hey, I started this brand new, brand new business, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. You are going to send out a message to someone that you've wanted to reach out to about the business, but to try to get them as a loyal customer. So I'm gonna tell you what I, I'm gonna, chat with you and tell you what I mean by a message that you're going to send out. But it's basically just a, hey, I think you'd be awesome at this business, but I know sometimes people are hesitant to join the business without trying the products. So I'd love to have you as a product tester for a few months. And then if you love the products, do you think you'd ever do something like this with me? You know, I could offer you my discount, blah, blah, blah. So I basically told you what the message said, but I'm going to send it to you. Maybe. So I, um, what is happening? Okay, hold on, sorry. I don't know if I, I didn't even know you could privately send a message on here. What's happening? Okay, send to, is there a way for me to send this to everyone? There we go, okay, that was confusing. Whoever Samsung is, I just sent you a private message. Sorry about that. Um, so, I don't send out this message a lot, but if I'm really in a crunch to you know, get a fast start bonus or I really need extra volume to hit a certain promotion or to help someone hit a promotion, I will send out this message. Typically, I will wait and send, I usually just talk to people about the business first and then go to the loyal customer program. But again, if I need a customer, I'm happy to start this way. And the cool thing is, you've already planted the seed about making extra money. So if they say yes, or they wanna be a product tester for you, then you've already you know, talked to them a little bit about the business and told them that they'd be amazing at it. So I'm gonna send this out to a few people. You guys have four or five minutes, brand new distributors, keep messaging your brand new people.
I'm also going to throw out this little tidbit for you. If you guys are, um, maybe you're out of your initial warm market, you've been in a little bit longer, or especially if you're working, well, really Instagram or Facebook, um, make sure you look at someone's page. Okay. If we're, if we're messaging people, um, about the business, especially, um, well, no, the business or the products, but if you're reaching out to someone for the very first time and they've never shown necessarily interest on one of your posts, but you think they'd be an awesome distributor, make sure you're going through their page and being thoughtful and not, you know, if they're in another business or they're already a networks distributor, those would be good reasons to maybe not reach out to them. Um, just today I got messaged by someone asking if I wanted to join their it works team. And I said, no, <laughs> um, clearly, but just make sure you guys are being careful. Um, I don't want to discourage you from reaching out to new people, but try to be thoughtful, build a relationship with them for a little bit at first, if you can. Um, but definitely look at their page thoroughly enough that you know, they're not a distributor. She did think I would be awesome at the business. So there's that. For those of you that do a lot of Instagram, just a really easy tip for you guys, um, especially for those of you that message new people a lot. I always say, hey girl, or hey so-and-so, I use their name most often if I know it. Um, I send that first to see if I've messaged them before because you know sometimes I don't write down their names or I forget that I've messaged them like three years ago. And Instagram doesn't show your history of messaging someone if they're long enough ago. So say that so that you don't look silly when you ask them to join, you know, or to send more info or you ask them if they want to be your hair, mo hair model or whatever. Um, so I always say that first and then, and then it pops up with your history of messages if you have one. So that way, you know, if you need to say, I know I've messaged you before, but, or if you haven't messaged them before, then you can go on with what you were going to say. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, I know we're cruising through this. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to send out a few messages of each section that I'm going through. The cool thing is we will have the recording of this and the more people you talk to and the longer you're in this business, you should be able to come back to these same messages and these same follow-ups that we're about to do and use them all over again, okay? You're just gonna repeat this more and more and more the longer you go in the business and that's what's gonna make you a million dollars. So. Um, 
uh, okay, hold on. I got your message, your message, Lashenda. I'll uh, message you here in a little bit. Um, okay, so we're gonna spend five to six minutes on follow up. Again, I'm gonna send you a bunch of follow up messages. These are all for potential loyal customers. Um, people that have showed interest before, or maybe they were on your website and then never placed an order and we don't know what happened. Okay. All sorts of follow-ups. So if you guys are having trouble with who to message right now, or you've forgotten people to follow up with, now you know that I was right about creating a hundreds list and keeping it with you at all times and always adding to it. So if you don't have one tonight, you're going to want one after this because it's going to make your life so much easier. All right, here they come. I literally just used the, I hope I'm not bigging, bugging you, follow up is just a part of the gig. And the girl was like, I am so sorry, I ignored your last two messages. Okay. These are all messages that I've used before and have responses with. It's not just something that I made up on a whim. All right. There's five different, five different messages for you. Um, for people that have, again, not messaged me back after a few messages, um, or I feel like they're ignoring me, I will throw out that I hope I'm not annoying you, or I don't want to bug you or waste your time. I just want to make sure you have these products by the summer. Sometimes if someone tells me they were on the website ordering, I might message them and say, hey, I'm so sorry for not following up sooner. Did you have you know, any trouble with the website? I haven't had a chance to log into my account and look. Okay, usually I get the little customer email, but you know, maybe I missed something. Um, so I'll message them that. Sometimes I will say, hey, I totally forgot to tell you that your billing and shipping address have to match for your first order. Um, did you have an issue with the website? Okay, just as a way to be like, hey, I did not see your order go through what happened, um, but in a nicer way. So anything like that will work. 99% um, of my loyal customers come from follow-up. Most of them do not order the first day they, are tell, they tell me they're interested. So this is gonna be like a gold mine for you guys. If you can find the follow-up method that works for you. Um, sometimes it takes three, four, 17, 74 follow-ups to get someone to sign but that is where our money comes from. Same with potential distributors. Uh, real quick, if I just um, sent them a message on Friday, is it cool to send this message to them then? I don't know where you are, who is speaking, but. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't know where you are. Um, you were on the page right below me and I just could not see you. <laughs> um, I, it depends on what you said um, and what you followed up with them about and how interested they were. Um, you know, like I said, if they were someone that was, I thought they were about to order on my website, then yes, absolutely. Um, I usually follow up with them within the next day or two um, just to see like, I know the weekend was busy. I'm so sorry for not following up with you. You know, did you have a chance to jump on my website? Um, that's usually what I send. Um, if it's just someone that was kind of curious, interested, I, you do usually wait, you know, 72 hours or so, but I'd say you're safe to message them again tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's also spring break for people. So you guys could throw that out there. You know, I know you're probably super crazy busy. I don't know if you're on vacation or not, but just wanted to make sure you had these products when you got home or, you know, once spring break was over, did you want me to go ahead and place your order for you? There's a tip. Sorry, I'm going to jump in, Alyssa. Yeah, There's a tip that uh, Ashley always says, and I do it sometimes uh, when I remember, and it's when you're following up, if you know the specific product someone wanted, send a before and after with it. And I would send one that looks like them. Like if they're going after their legs, send a leg wrap picture. If they're um, wanting to use the wraps for a postpartum belly, send a postpartum belly. Don't just send any belly. Like, Target them with the before and after and make sure you send it with them. 
with the follow up? Um, yeah, the one follow up message that I sent you guys uh, that said my friend Chelsea just sent me her results. Um, I can let me see if I have her. She's on here. Chelsea, do you have your own before and after pictures with her skin and nails? Can you even send? I don't even know. I feel like I should know that. I don't even know if you can send pictures. But you guys get the idea. That's just an example. You can send someone else's pictures beside Chelsea's. Oh, and remember to use corporate approved images. Yeah. If you guys are not on the, on Pinterest, or if you do not follow the It Works Global Pinterest page, um, you should most definitely do that. I will send it here in the chat so you have it, but it has a ton of um, product pictures, but also corporate approved before and after pictures. And if you have the wrap app, and you guys are working on your own testimony, make sure you use that and you can submit your pictures to corporate um, so that you can have the official picture, you know, they'll approve it and then it'll have the official stamp and everything on it so that you can share your own results. How is this hour going by so fast? Okay. I got three follow-ups in. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna talk about conver converting a potential distributor to loyal customer. Um, again, this might be for people that have been in a little bit longer. Um, this isn't something I do all the time. It's for very specific potential distributors um, that I know really want to join the business, but they're either waiting for a timing reason, you know, maybe they're in between jobs or they say, you know, once final exams are over. Um, and then also the people that are just so hesitant that they're probably never going to join um, or they ask me the same questions over and over and over again. And I feel like we're not getting anywhere. Um, I will try to get them to be a loyal customer for a few months um, and start building their testimony so that maybe then, once they feel more comfortable with the products, it will be an easy transition to be a loyal customer to a distributor. Again, I don't do this with all potential distributors because I do want some of the distributors to just join as distributors. But if you need loyal customers or if you have those potential distributors that you've been waiting on for quite a while now that just haven't been ready, you can send one of these messages. Everyone, okay.
All right. Even though I feel like 99% of our time could be spent on follow-up, um, especially for those of you guys that have been in for a minute, um, we got to move on. So um, the next thing that we are going to do is um, try to get someone to host a party. Okay. I know um, we have a few people on our team that are great at parties, um, but I don't think we promote them enough. They, it is a great way to get multiple people in front of you, either online or in someone's home. Um, you know, one-on-ones are great and social media is great, but typically you can only talk to one person at a time. Parties can be a good way to get, you know, anywhere between four, well, three to 12 people in front of you all at once. Okay. So it might take an hour or two of your time to drive to someone's house to wrap everyone, but you could also in that two hour time span, sign up, you know, eight customers, just depending on how many people show up. So I'm going to give you guys some scripts from a leader that is amazing at getting people to host parties um, and does them almost weekly. And again, this can be for virtual parties or parties in person. Obviously, if someone's not local to you, um, unless you're wanting to drive a great distance or fly to do someone's party, um, you can offer a virtual party. So you guys just substitute what you need to for these. Um, you can also switch them up if you just want to ask someone for referrals. You can use kind of the same method, but instead of asking them to host a party, you can ask them, you know, can you think of three or four friends that might benefit from these products or making an extra income? All right, so here, this is gonna be two messages and then one post idea, okay? It's probably too soon for you guys to make another post about it works since we just did kind of an interactive one, but save this and in the next couple of days, maybe use it um, or use some format of it. So this is to just, you know, a friend um, and then to a loyal customer. Um, it could be a friend or family member. And then the other one is for one of your current loyal customers. Um, someone that's great to ask to host a party is someone that you know would be amazing at the business, but just won't sign up or is not interested in making extra money. Um, sometimes it's good to get that person to host a party, get all of their friends interested. So at the end of the party, you can say, okay, I am happy to make money off of all of your friends, or you can be a distributor and you can sign all of your friends up as customers and you can give them that option. So anyone that you think would rock at this business that's currently a customer or a potential, ask them to host a party. It's also a great way for people to pre-sell their wraps if they don't have the $99 to become a distributor. They can host a party, you can provide the wraps, just give them the profit, profit from each wrap sale to go towards their distributor kit. Okay, don't lose money on your wraps, but they get the profit. Okay, you can offer that if, if you want. It's especially great if you have wrap rewards, so. And since this other part is similar, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this other thing. I'm also gonna send you scripts that you can use to um, ask people to our virtual product party that is coming up on the 26th, okay? So one set of these messages is asking people to host a party for you. This other these other messages I'm gonna send you are to get people to attend our virtual product party. And I'm also gonna send you the link for the virtual product party so that you guys can go RSVP because I know a lot of you haven't because I created it uh, late last night. I also often invite potential distributors and current loyal customers to our virtual product parties. Um, it doesn't have to just be for potential customers. A lot of times I invite my current customers because I want them to see what else we offer um, and other products that they might want to try. Not to mention it's great for potential distributors to jump on these parties because they will go on and see, you know, when we do these big team parties, there's often, you know, anywhere between 150 to 300 people that RSVP. Not all of them check in. But think about your potential distributor. Maybe you're the only person they know that sells these products and then they get on this online party 
and there's, you know, 100, 200 people so excited, commenting, talking about the results, talking about the money they're making, that's a very powerful thing for someone to see, especially if they only know a handful of people that sell these products. Okay, when you're in the business, you feel like everyone has to know about this. How do they not? <laughs> and then when you, the more people you talk to, the more you realize that there's so many people out there that have no idea. So when you get someone like that on a party with all of us, it's a very powerful thing. And we sign a lot of customers and distributors from these virtual um, parties. Obviously, this is also another way to follow up with people. So I know you guys are already following up with people, but this is just another approach that you can use for someone that um, isn't answering you or hasn't been ready to order. Just another little tip, um, as I talked to this girl that told me she was ready to order, um, I always give them the option, obviously, I'm happy to place their order for them if they just wanna send me just a little bit of info. I always say it like that. Um, or I can send them instructions from my website, whatever's more convenient for them. Um, if they say, you know, what info do you need from me? If I am friends with them on Facebook or we're texting, okay, I obviously already have their phone number if we're texting. If we are on Facebook, I will go look and see if they have their birthday listed. I will look and see if they have their email address listed. I will try to find out anything that I can that I need to enroll them from their Facebook. So that way when I say, all I need from you is this, I don't have to say email, phone number, birthday. I can just say, all I need is your billing and shipping addresses, your credit card number, and your expiration date. I don't need the three little code on the back um, and whatever product you want this month. And that's it. So that way it seems less scary for them. You're not asking them for like their dog's name and their birthday and their social security number and like all this other information. It looks like a lot if you type it all out. So I try to kind of cut down to make it look like it's, you know, just three or four things that I need from them. So 
obviously if you don't have any of that stuff, you just have to ask for it. But um, I find that people get back to me much sooner if it's less information that I need. So it's already 926, so okay. Next thing, um, once you guys send out that virtual event, it's not till the 26th, so you still have plenty of time to invite people to that. Um, okay, so this is gonna be like our customer service section of the Zoom. Um, I know not everyone loves customer service. To be totally honest, I don't love customer service, but I do see dollar signs when I see loyal customers because I know if I take care of them and I help them see results, that's why I do this business because that creates residual income. So a couple things you have to do with your loyal customers is check for declines every single month. Check for credit card declines, okay? Sometimes you will get the email, but as your team grows, as you place customers, as things get busy, you will miss them. So all you need to do is log into your eSuite, go to reports, go to downline orders, okay? And then you can sort them by credit card declines, okay? Um, basically, you know, some people feel uncomfortable reaching out to someone when their card declines because we immediately think they don't have the money. And so we're weirded out by messaging them. But good customer service includes making sure that your customers are getting the product that they ordered, okay? Um, a lot of times, you know, sometimes it is money, but sometimes they don't realize their expiration date changed, they got a new card, they got a chip card. There's a bunch of reasons that people's card decline, uh, do decline. So, um, Okay, so um, here's a simple message that you can send if you see someone's card decline. Okay, so if they tell you they got a new card or they got a new expiration date, you can either walk them through changing their information or if they're comfortable giving you the information, you can submit that information through a ticket um, in your e-suite just saying so-and-so got a new card, please rerun her auto shipment this month using this number and expiration date. Um, you can do that, you can call in, um, or if you have, you know, if they let you manage their account, you can log into their account and change it for them, whatever works best for you. Um, just make sure if you submit a ticket, um, you say, you know, this is my loyal customer, um, and her ID number is this, and she wanted to change, if she wanted to change the product order or just needs to change her card information, um, make sure you submit all of that. Okay, so that's a really easy one. I'm not going to have you guys do that right now, um, but definitely I try to do it a couple times throughout the months, especially as your team grows and you have more customers. Um, you know, try to do it two or three times throughout the month because it'll be less messages you have to send out and less overwhelming if you split it up. Hopefully you can get some of those fixed throughout the month. But for sure, sometime on the 25th through the end of the month, you really need to check because by the end of the day, the 25th, most of auto shipments have all run. So you will know at that point who's have declined. Um, this is a really big tip for you guys that we do not utilize enough helping your customers use their perk points, okay? For those of you that don't know, our customers earn 10% back on every order in perk points, starting with the very first order. They just can't redeem them until after their third order, okay? They're still collecting them, but they can't redeem them anymore until after their three months, okay? Um, if someone cancels their auto shipment, the per perk points expire within 30 days of when they cancel. Okay, so if you know someone that wants to turn off their auto shipment after three months, six months, nine months, doesn't matter. If they turn off their auto shipment, it expires 30 days from that day. So you want to make sure to utilize those perk points. Don't forget to message someone. Um, not every customer is going to tell you that they are canceling their auto ship. So it is something you should be looking at your customer's account every month just to try to keep up with that. Um, if you're giving good enough customer service, a lot of times they will tell you they turned it off or that they are going to turn it off, so you have a heads up. But I am going to send you a message that you guys can use a couple of different messages that I like to use. Um, by looking up their account, you can see how many perk points they have. Again, make sure that they've ordered for three months already. So if they've already had their January, February, and March order, um, then they can start redeeming their points. So look to see how many they have. Um, and then again, send a message like that. I usually give a recommendation for something that they could get with the perk points that they have. 
Um, and just as a smart business move, I always recommend a product that is more expensive than how many points they have. Okay, unless they have a specific goal that I know a specific product could help and they could get that product for free. But I typically try to get them to purchase a more expensive product that they normally wouldn't spend the money on and they still get a good discount, but then I still get some of the volume from helping um, get that sale. So again, make a recommendation. That is a message I just used and got an order for the shake. So um, I typically do a lot of the perk points after the 25th. So this is something that I squeeze into the end of the month um, because I want their order to run that month. So they get those extra perk points. And then I often will say like, you know, you can use this for the end of the month. Unfortunately, it's not good on your monthly order, but if you wanted to order something now, I could place that order for you. Um, otherwise customers get confused and they just want to use the perk points then instead of running their monthly order. So I often word it as like an end of month special where they can use these points. So, um, so there's one. And then I was going to give you guys this one too. Um, because sometimes they don't have as many. Um, they might have seven perk points, but sometimes that sounds weird. So I'll say, you know, you got $5 off the product of your choice because then I know they'll have a little bit left the next month. Um, it just depends on your customers and how they expect you to take care of them, how familiar they are with the customer program. Obviously, if they're canceling their auto shipment and they have seven, then they need to use all seven, um, but that's just an easy, it's to a lot of customers, it makes more sense um, that way, so. Um, okay, along those same lines, I'm gonna just give you guys this one. This is, the next little section is gonna be getting old loyal customers to order or to keep loyal customers ordering past three months. So this one still has to do with perk points, product credit, those terminologies are exchangeable, interchangeable. So um, after six months, our loyal, after six consecutive orders, six months in a row, our customers get $50 in extra bonus credit, perk points. Um, after a year, they get 150. But I like to keep track, especially for my customers that have been on for three or four months. I like to know what their sixth order is or, you know, when it will be. If I know it's going to be like May 5th, I'm able to say, you know, after your May 5th order, you're going to have an extra 50. Like, do you have any idea what you're going to get with that extra points? So assuming that they're going to order for a few more months um, and getting them excited about trying things for a few more months so that they can get that $50 credit. Um, assuming the sale will help you a lot with signing loyal customers and with keeping them. Okay. I don't ever assume that someone wants to turn off their auto shipment. I assume that they're liking the products and we have over 30, so they're going to want to keep ordering. So I never say, Hey, you know, you can turn off your auto shipment this month, or did you want to keep ordering? I just reach out to them like it was month one or two saying, Hey, what did you want to try this month? If they want to cancel or they don't want to order more products or they're too stocked up, they will tell you. So, you know, you don't have to to throw it out there. Um, you know, if people don't have to be on a monthly order, a lot of times they will choose not to be, but if you're taking care of them, they don't really care as long as you're keeping them in the loop. So, um, these next two, I'm going to send you, this is to get old customers to reorder, um, that haven't been on auto shipment for a while, or, um, just to get a random, a random order from a loyal customer and to remind them that they get loyal customer pricing for life. Um, this next one that I'm sending talks about um, doing a, it looks really long, okay, um, talks about doing a giveaway. Um, this one specifically says an essential oil. Um, I chose that because some of our essential oils are as cheap as $15. Um, not that that's cheap necessarily for a giveaway, but if it's getting your loyal customers to order, it's worth it. Um, but doing, getting wrap rewards and signing to loyal customers and getting a box of wraps for $25, that means each wrap in your box is, you know, a little over six bucks. So you would able, be able to use one of those wraps for a message like this, um, to get your loyal customers in a drawing to win a free wrap or win a free facial. It's only costing you $6, but it might get you a few reorders from customers that haven't ordered in a while. 
I know we went a little bit over and I also feel like we didn't have time to like utilize all of these things, but I hope you guys see that there's like a million different ways you can get volume, that you can get loyal customers. There's a million different messages you can send. I mean, this signing loyal customers should be a good chunk of your week. Again, I know we get distracted with wanting to sign distributors, but you really should spend a lot of, I mean, you should be balanced really. The longer you're in this business, you can sign a million distributors, literally a million. And if you don't know how to sign customers or you don't work hard to sign customers and you don't teach your distributors to sign customers, you will still be a distributor. You will not be an ambassador. You could sign more distributors than any ambassador out there. Um, but if you do not have loyal customers, you cannot earn bonuses. You cannot um, earn discounted products. You have to have the loyal customers. Okay. Um, our company is awesome. We, I think we uh, average like seven customers per distributor, which is kind of insane in the network marketing world to have that average per distributor. So um, we have awesome products. You guys should be using the products that will help you promote the products. Um, something I did not mention with talking about Facebook posting earlier is every time you post about the products, it does not have to be selling the products. Okay. You don't always have to be looking for a product model or a product tester or asking people to join your 90 day challenge. Sometimes you can just be excited about the product. Um, you know, some days you can just be excited about, you know, just how yesterday I was posting about fried Oreos. I can post just about hair, skin and nails and how much I love it. And I can still get customers from posts like that without having to say, you know, it's $33 if for my loyal customers, those posts are necessary and they're good too. But don't forget to also just show people that you're excited about what you're doing and that you're using the products and that you love it. If they're interested, they're going to message you no matter what your caption says. Your job is just to be consistent with it and to be excited and positive with it. So very, very, very last thing. Um, again, this is for people that have been in a little bit longer. Um, but don't forget about canceled and inactive distributors. Um, I am going to send you a message that I've sent to people before that I've had either canceled or distributors that weren't, work, weren't working their business come back and just join as a loyal customer. So here's this. Um, the longer you're in the business, the longer this list gets to reach out to. Here we go. But you know, I've noticed, and it says in this message that, um, you know, there's a lot of people that join this business and they're excited about trying the products and making extra money. You know, they just joined to make enough to cover the products they want to use. And then they sign up and they never use a single product or they try a product for 30 days. And then they're like, I'm losing money. I can't believe I bought all those products and, and then they don't use them. And then they're, you know, it makes no sense. Um, if you're joining to use the products, you need to use the products. But so many people get distracted with, well, now it's a business expense and now I'm, doing this and then they don't use them. So I often reach out to those people and just say, look, I know you joined because you were excited about the products and then you never got to use them. Like what if we just took all the pressure off, got you started as a loyal customer, you get your testimony. And once you get that out of the way, then maybe we'll talk about rejoining as a distributor, but let's just get you on the products. So for those of you that are watching that have not used the products, take your next paycheck, whether it's 20 bucks or a hundred bucks, and put it towards building a testimony. It might mean you break totally even, but if it means that you love the products more, that you can talk about them more, that you're more confident with the company, it will end up making you way more money than if you never turn that money back into your business and re, um, reinvest it into the products and into the company. So um, that is all I have. I do have all of this in a document. So if you guys weren't able to copy and paste some of these, um, or you need to go back and get some of them later, I will, when I upload the video, I will um, put them all in the comments or I'll maybe just upload it as a file on the page. So I hope you guys found it helpful and that's all. So you guys can unmute yourself. Um, I know we went over. So if you have questions, you can ask them really quickly, but otherwise, um, I might have you guys message your sponsor or message me later tonight. Okay. So you guys feel free to unmute and say goodbye if you'd like, and I am going to stop the recording.